electricity. And um, we have a very special and interesting guest in the studio this morning. Welcome we back. caught the attention it's of our a, MD, actually. Yes, the MD he was mandated us. sent out an email to everybody. Uh -huh. You must get this young man into the studio. And we succeeded because Catherine and I are <laughs> that like that. You know. Deal with it. <laughs> It's Talk to Your Students for this week, and you know that on Talk to Your Students, we talk about every and anything that has to do with education in Nigeria and, and across the world, particularly owing to, or stemming from the fact that a lot of us understand that the education sector in the country needs a total overhauling. And yesterday, um, the president appointed a new Minister of Education, so we're hoping that very soon a lot of things that we're clamoring for in the education sector will be brought to the forebunner and handled and dealt with as soon as possible. You know that the ongoing strike with Polytechnic students is still mm -hmm. ongoing and it's worrisome for it a whole worrisome, yeah. lot of them. So many of them. It's almost a year if care is not taking that these students have been out of school. And as a people, we must of a necessity give our education um, so much importance. That's why we decided to have our guest today on the show because I think he has a story everybody should hear and listen. I'm excited he's on the show because I know he's going places. Now, when I start to see him around the world, I will now begin to show the pictures I took with him. <laughs> now, do you knew him yes. first? <laughs> we, we, I had him once uh -huh. on my show, uh -huh. and his name is Halod Olaolua. He's a 24 year old graduate of the University of I think of it's Lagos. his name that is doing him. Yes. Mm -hmm. First time I, I, I'm like, oh, okay. Um, let me just continue. He has he, he set a new academic record and has put his name on the African map. He has done excitingly and amazingly well. He had the best PhD thesis for the 2012-2013 session and graduated with an awesome um, cumulative um, grade point average of 5.2. Who does that? Who, no one. Who in the world does that? Mm -hmm. Meaning he scored eight grade, A grades in all his courses and entered all the courses he entered for throughout the duration. He he just finished it. Ola Alua um, took, um, has said at, the, at one interview that it took him three years to complete his PhD program and um, he has done amazingly well. He started out at um, 15. He, he has just been breaking records from the onset. Mm -hmm. In 2007, he had bagged the first class degree, bachelor's degree, actually in mathematics at the age of 18, and a year later in 2008, he earned his master's degree in physics. Right now, Olalua has first, uh, two first degrees, mathematics and physics, and two master's degrees in mathematics and physics, and he is just 24 years old. You know, this is, these are the kind of uh, people, how is this kind of child that your mother will be pushing your head and saying, <laughs> <laughs> is that why you know your class? Is it you're not your mate? Is it not your mate? <laughs> I am interested because I'm thinking mm -hmm. mathematics, how some of us struggled so hard. Exactly. Like, if I took extra, I didn't, I will never forget my O levels. I did not sleep mm -hmm. for my mathematics exam mm -hmm. and I kept saying, Lord, you know they say, well, if you have to do O levels again, once you don't get math the first time, you may not get it yeah. again. <laughs> so just let me pass this part. And I did, I, I eventually did pass. But then, here's a 24 year old, I am very proud of you. I'm not even your family member, but I'm no, so proud of you. I know. And I imagine how proud your parents are. Welcome to the show, Olaf. Thank you. Yeah. He's very quiet. He's very, very calm, actually. Oh, no, you mean, you it's would just be sitting down one I've been trying to ruffle him. No, just he's trying very to. very ruffable. <laughs> and he's, um, he's the last of three kids. That's right. And um, your are, your, are your siblings this intelligent? Or are your <gasps> brothers this. Uh, they're doing well. They're doing well. Yeah, that's being humble. Very humbly. Where'd you get it from? The genes? Your mom? Your dad? Well, I guess maybe my dad was giving priority to education. Education. So my first, my eldest brother mm -hmm. actually read physics. And then okay. the, the, the other one also is a medical doctor. Wow. Olalua <laughs> is actually a lecturer at the University of Lagos now. They and guys, it's not an international student. Go. This is a university. This is a Nigerian. He born he started here. Mm -hmm. Did you do your primary school education in Nigeria? No, no. I just came back for my PhD. Okay. okay. And my NYSC, of course. So you came back for your NYSC. You've you served as well. Yes, at 24, what else is there to achieve? Like hmm. you have done, like, oh my oh. word. After this, what do you want to do? Um, I, I will go for a postdoctorate. Oh. Are you a veteran of reading? You do have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, he doesn't. No, I'm just. I'm just. <laughs> you know the kind. Of, he disappoints me. Yes. No, don't. People like this don't say girlfriend. 
Are you in a relationship? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> are you in a relationship? I'm single. Yeah, he's single. So yes, for all you ladies who always say, <laughs> my husband must be very brilliant and intelligent. Here is what. Well, I are wish you luck. <laughs> I wish you a lot of luck because this young man um, doesn't really strike me like someone. Um, but I wish you all the best. It's um, you started out, and I'm sure for you, mathematics has always been something you had interest in. How did you start out? Your interest in mathematics and um, primary school was it something you always liked, or was it the way it was being taught? Because a lot of people in this part of the world, I, myself inclusive, believe that math from from such a tender age has a lot to do with your overall um, um, love or hatred. For the subject matter. So how was growing up with you and mathematics, aptitude, quantitative, all those things? Well, at first, during my primary school days, I think I loved every subject. Okay. So I was performing every subject. And even those who hate mathematics now, I believe that when they were in primary school, some of them were actually very good in mathematics. But what do you think may have happened along the line? So I think along the line, mathematics becomes a little bit tougher and it's more challenging for the brain and some many people don't like actually tasking their brain too yeah, much so right. that alone can be a discouragement mm -hmm. and a couple with the fact that some teachers don't teach very well, well maybe because they don't know or because of some other factors that's another discouragement and once you miss um, the pace then you're you left behind you will now get discouraged because you will find it very hard to catch up again and again and again just Interest so mathematics and then physics. What exactly is you know? Why did you have to? Um, how did you do? Were you also doing your mathematics alongside your physics, or you? How did it work for you? Well, um, in secondary school, um, since I studied in the French system, we didn't start physics quite early. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really like physics uh, at first, but. Um, when I sat down, I just found that actually I had to pass physics. It was one of the courses with the highest coefficient, so I just had to pass it, and so I had to sit down for it and focus. And when I concentrated, I found out that, yes, I was coping, and I actually started developing interest. Obviously, when you f find out that you are assimilating the subject better, definitely the interest the will interest come. Will come. So that's how I developed the interest. And when I entered the university and I was performing in both subjects, that's when I actually said that, okay, that means I can do both and excel in both. Okay. From your profile, it's very obvious that you must have started your education now career or at certain points, landmark points in your education, you may have been the youngest at that part or how was it? Were you always the youngest? How did you cope with being young? and them handling such magnitude, how did you handle it? Well, again, in Central African Republic, yes, I was the youngest, or will I say one of the youngest. Okay. But if, looking at, for example, the Nigerian system, I don't think I would have been the youngest. I started my primary school at the age of five, and I know people started prim their primary school at the age of three or four. Mm -hmm. And then I started my secondary school at the age of ten. I know people started even then mm -hmm. at nine. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Um, I don't think is, and I've also had some breaks. So I think um, I was just the youngest in Central African Republic. Not you speak the, French. Yeah, sure, I do speak French. English, you can always yes. You That's why I asked. Oh, yeah, I speak a, something in French a, now. Bonjour. The bonjour, yeah, John. Bonjour, yeah. Babu. Bonjour is what we say <laughs> normally. <laughs> <laughs> you have to speak. You have to speak your, your language. Say you something have to speak now. Say vernacular. Please say something, please. Don't fall my hand. I trust you. I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> Central African um um Kelpi. Uh, Central African South African. Hey. South Africa. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's combien de temps? Combien d'années? Um, uh, uh, parler de moi. Oui. Oui. Bien intéressant. Ah. What was that? Mm. What did you mean? Continue, my person. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, and you say we should speak. Listening, you have to interpret. Well, you said we should speak. We have spoken so. Uh -huh. uh, so what happened? You said Central Africa comes with them. No, I didn't say that. Yeah. But you know, we're just talking like how old and. Um, mm -hmm. It's 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 so beautiful when you can speak as many languages as you possibly can. And now that you're back into the Nigerian system, going up or studying outside of the country, and now a lecturer. What are the things that you think, what are the areas that you think that we can begin to work on? Because we know some of these areas. But very often when you see people of your 
behind your caliber coming in with such brain and with, at such a young age? You want to ask, what worked for you where you studied that it's not here and you think that we have to bring here to make it better for our Nigerian students? Um, well, I think as an African country, uh, our problems are quite similar. Um, okay. uh, firstly, I believe that there is a lot to do in the standard of uh, teaching, especially in mathematics even in Central African Republic in Nigeria too. Uh, I was lucky to go to a private school, so things were a little bit different as in the secondary school setting. So I had the privilege of having good mathematics teachers, and that's not always the case, and that was not the case for my my colleagues that were in public schools there. In most of the public schools, they, they, they were not really taught to wear mathematics. So firstly, there's something that we definitely have, have to improve. And then when I, to compare Central African Republic and Nigeria, we feel, uh, I would say that um, maybe Nigeria should, should encourage, uh, encourage um, students who are naturally fast uh, in learning and um, who are naturally brilliant. Uh, people always say that in Nigeria you couldn't have achieved this kind of feat and everything. But yeah, with the strikes and all perhaps? Exactly. So there's also a lot, Nigeria can definitely do better. Nigeria can do better. How do you lecture? Because you are just one, two, three, four, five. We're five people in the studio and we can barely hear you. Oh. You know, it's how it's is lecturing? Man, yes, uh, lecturing is something you've always thought of doing or because you have done amazingly well, the school authorities think that, okay, you look, this green.